actually doing this folding method to cut a lot of bias and I fully give the credit for this to April Dunn who taught me bunches of stuff a long time ago. Any size rectangle, okay? You take the top left corner, which I call A, and fold it down so that this is a 45 degree angle. And this is B down here. This is C. So now what you do is you take C up here to meet that. That's step two. Now I'm going to repeat that. So now I have a, a bunch of folds here. What you need to do then, and you may have even more fabric, so you can lay it down like that, is you have to cut off this first narrow bit of folds after that. Like if you wanted two inch wide bias, then you're just going to lay your two inches along that straight cut edge and keep cutting. You cut your whole distance and you'll see that you will come up with as long of strips of bias as is possible out of that piece of fabric. Then I find the less brain teasing way to join strips of bias is to cut off those angles. Now don't worry, we're not going to seam them straight. But I find if I cut those off at a 90 degree angle, then I take and I set them right sides together at 90 degrees. And then I'm going to stitch from this corner to this corner. And once I do, let's just pretend that's stitched there. Then you pull it out like this and you see you've got that nice angled seam which and the reason you want that is because it distributes the bulk of the seam when you use it.